EHG getting back with uh, Call of Duty 3 here. As I was editing the first videos, I realized that in the first, at least the first episode, I said Call of Duty 4. My bad. This is certainly not that. Okay, due to the way this the game's cutscenes are set up, I'm going to be editing right in between. So, it kind of picks up where the last, last chapter left off and put a checkpoint in between. I don't know why they set it up like that. It's, uh, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But if you like my material, like and subscribe, especially on Rumble, but YouTube's fine too. It's just a lot harder to get monetized there. The Canadians continue their push south on the Falaise Road, forcing the Germans to fall back towards Falaise, while the Polish 1st Armored Division guards the Canadians... Ah, I'm playing as the Polacks this time. In concert, the four nations I'm part Polish. ...to force the Germans into a narrow corridor, trapping them between the Americans to the south and the British, Canadian, and Polish armies to the north. For plan to work, cooperation must be perfect. Like ballet. But soldiers are not dancers. So maybe we not wait. Maybe we go right after Richter his tanks. We are closest. Close is dangerous. Richter has advantage in armor and supplies. So we cut Richter's supply line. For that, That's a Sherman flyer, the Firefly. That was a British modified Sherman. Different right. turret. Packs a 17-pounder gun in it, which is, I think it was like a 76.2 millimeter gun or something. Once the gates open, we'll move in. It was a stopgap tank to fill in until the American tanks came with bigger barrels, like 76 millimeter. If you've ever seen the movie Fury, that's what Brad Pitt was sporting on his tank. He had an easy age. Sure you get yourself past those bloody sentries as quickly as possible. My pleasure. Look after yourself with these onion eaters. Votre mère la syphilis, mon ami. Huh? Good luck to you too, Frenchy. Let's move out! Whoa! Okay, that was a bug right there. Visual glitch. Definitely not supposed to happen. Look at all them barrels. Can't go that way. Ah, oh, the Lee Einfeld. Shoots the British 303. Oh, I have to go this way. I thought I could just vault over it. That wasn't in these games yet. That shot was way off. God damn it. Played the first few chapters, got used to the PS2 controller again since it is quite rugged now. I'm Getting back to getting used to it again. That reloading animation is just terrible. Like I said in an earlier chapter, it's fine if you zoom out when you do it, but... Keep it zoomed in, it just looks bad. He somehow loads two five round clips in there. It only holds two. I'll take the KAR. Los! 
Oh, I thought they might blow up. They look red. My allies aren't very good at shooting. They're pretty much just there for decoration. So it feels like you're not a one-man army, even though that's the whole point. The old Medal of Honor games did that back in, like, PS2 days. Even, uh, first PS2 Medal of Honor, I should say the first two. Frontline and Rising Sun. European Assault, they finally decided to put some allies in the game. Medal of Honor was generally much better on PC. But its console offerings back in the PS1 days were the shooter to go to. Oh, that's a helmet. I was wondering what that was. Are you sure they're German? Not Hungarian, Romanian, Austrian. Oh, that's Frenchy. A Kubelwagen. What's in here? Does this even come off? It's supposed to. Whatever it is, I picked it up. Caught in that barrel. I'm gonna see, I'm trying to move, but I can't go anywhere. That's some smoke, bitches. Room is a death trap. Last magazine. Put your back spoil. Stay close. Let's go. Well, I know these two ain't gonna drop their weapons. They're invincible, which means. They can't be vinced. Whatever that is. Is there anything down there? I'll move about and provide sniper fire. Au revoir, mes amis. Er braucht Hilfe! Er wurde getroffen! Did he say that as he was dying? Oh no, this guy did.
Jeeps for light recon. Come on, Doyle, we're out of time. Good show, boys. There's not enough time for me to plant all the charges. Yeah. Careful with these. They're already primed. Understand? A man of few words. I like that. Why can't those veggies speak English? Move out! Says the Scotsman who had his language taken from him by the English. You can't see anything. The smoke from this thing is terrible. That and, uh, what do they call it, the muzzle flash? I can't even, where the hell are we? Where are we going? Thank God that's over. Oh, look, German half track. German just had a stutter. Right again, 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 again. Games are more buggy. It didn't get as much uh, attention as his big brothers on the PS3 and 360. At least it's not the Wii version. I heard the Wii version was terrible. I see three ways in. Over those catwalks, through the office up there, or straight through the lower level here. Doyle, you take point. Go this way, because I saw it first. he come from? I 
I don't know if he's dead. Oh, he's down. Let the hand grenade settle it. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, you bitch. Typewriter. Oh, maybe it was going to be something interesting to pick up. Another typewriter out here. Someone must have been writing uh, love notes in private. My dear Lisa Lotta, I only have one sausage munitions left. It is hell. Oh, here's another minigame. Oh, no. Bolt action rifle jammed. Maybe you should clean it. He's just got like a straight face on the whole time. Oh my god, these minigames make the gameplay so much better. He says, I'm taking you with me, bitch. Really? What are you waiting for? Oh, dude, shut the fuck up. Make sure you get something with a decent transmission. Damn all this Doyle, cover me. Move out! Weich out! Eure ganze Armee ist verweichlicht! Pull out! In Deckung gehen! Los! Noch Deckung! Ooh, he went flying. Jerry curling. Up there! The cat walks! Three of their bodies disappeared. That grenade was so powerful it just vanished. What the fuck did you come from? That German. He mustn't have read the German field manual. Do not hide behind uh, railings for cover. Handrails. Make great cover. Kind of reminds me of that one level for Medal of Honor. 
uh, I can't remember what it's called, Metal Von or uh, Airborne, where you parachute into the factory and blow up all the uh, Tiger tanks. We missed the train. If you're interested in a decent World War II game that still plays well on PC, even with controllers, I highly recommend Red, uh, Metal of Honor Airborne. You can get it on GOG. It runs very well. That's what I played it on in my uh, playthrough of it. If you want to see it, go back through my library. Look through the Medal of Honor Airborne playlist. I keep everything in their own playlists. Of my God. He looks like he's gonna puke. There goes the Kubelwagen. Major! Gerald! Chief! No! Il est déjà mort. Get your hand off me, you French idiot! Or I'll shoot you myself! You cannot help me. Would your friend want you to risk everything for one man? <laughs> Even him. Doyle? Where the hell were you? I left while you were setting the charges. You're a friggin' coward, what you are. Get up, Doyle. We're going back in. Then three of you will be dead. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Cela signifie que votre commandant is... Speak bloody English, for Christ's sake! The Germans would shoot and grab on sight. Like they shot your buddy here? Vous osez me traiter de collaborateur? Damn straight, I think you're... Your Major is dead. And we will be too if we stay here much longer, pointing guns and accusations at one another. Seven kills in as many days. We're going to need more paint! Aye, <laughs> later! <laughs> Air support is arriving. Oh, Pushing looks like this down. is the tank level. The hunt is on. Ride for hotel. Old guy kind of looks like me. One Polak looks like another Polak. Who to thunk? I'm actually more German than I am Polish, but whatever. You gonna let me move my tank? Okay, it's about to say. The left and right controls are really sensitive. The Bosch shall retreating! Don't let him get away! Or we'll kill them all! For Poland! Some of the Polish did escape before their country got taken over by the Nazis. They went over and fought with uh, the English. Finally, we get some fighting Panzers. Those, those are Panzers. That's a major threat. The Panther had better frontal armor than the uh, Tiger did because of it. It's I mentioned this in an earlier video. When you have sloped armor like that, it makes tank shells that are incoming much, much more likely to deflect. It gives you better overall effective armor. I think that front upper plate on the Panther was 75 millimeters. 
We had a tank over here in America at Aberdeen Proving Ground. It was a Panther tank that had, uh, it was this type of a turret. It had, let me see if I can zoom in. On the left hand side, right there, it had a big like three and a half inch hole in it. I don't know if that was from testing on these tanks or if that happened from battle, but if that was from battle or bastards, I'd like to know what kind of gun went through it. It was probably our uh, 90 millimeter that was on the Pershing. But then again, given how rare the Pershings were, could have been the 76. One dead pull walk. You can't say racial slurs, but I'm white. That's how it works, isn't it? I can say all the white racial slurs I want. Stupid walk, dago pull walk, kraut, blimey. Hey, not my rolls. That's the rolls of the woke. Fuck it. I'm just going to push this around. Do the farmers a favor. Oh, I don't want my tank getting stuck in that. He's like, what the hell are you doing? Let's say Dla? Kind of hard to read. Oh, I totally missed. At this distance, I don't think that the uh, Firefly would have had much of a problem piercing the frontal armor of a Panther. Even the turret. That has some sort of a spec- well, they all make different types of shells for the tanks. High explosive armor piercing. Um, armor piercing composite ridge, uh, armor piercing discarding sabo, all sorts of different shit. But the British had some special round for the 17 pounder that really, really made a punch through armor. I can't remember what it was called though. Maybe armor piercing discarding pins, something like that? I don't remember. It's been a long time since I looked it up. down. I couldn't imagine being inside one of these damn things. Oh, in a Sherman, one hit from a Tiger. Oh yeah, that is a Tiger. I was going to say, it kind of looked like the Panzer IV from earlier in the game, but no, that's definitely a Tiger. Tiger 1, anyway. Tiger 2 was the one that had the sloped armor on the front. Easy and the uh, bigger gun. Here. The Tiger 1 had a shorter 88mm cannon on it. The Tiger 2 had the full-sized 88mm on it. The hell shot me? Is there a dude with a Panzerfaust hiding in sea bushes? Dirty crowds. The monster Richter's tank! I want a shot at Richter! Patience! Air support is coming! That kind of looks like a King Tiger. Let me get a Yeah, that's a King Tiger. Speak of the devil.
Oh, there you are. I feel like I'm playing World of Tanks. Oh wait, this doesn't suck. Maybe I'm not. Yeah, the tank just regenerates health. One more shot to do it. That looks like Richter. Uh, maybe not. Okay, that was just a panther. There goes the King Tiger. Or the Tiger 2, whatever you want to call it. How many rounds is this thing going to take? Damn. Can I go that way? No, I can't. Unfortunately, that stone wall's just too tough. What the fuck? It's hitting me from over here. Must have have uh, some of those building penetrating rounds. Not as easy to aim this thing as you might think. I think it's dead. Is that a tank? No, that's just some shrubbery. Shrubbery's gotta go. What is hitting me from over here? I think maybe the tank shell hit that building and then damage me. It certainly disorient me. Not entirely sure that I'm hitting it. Well, that's one way to know that you made a hit. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh! I turned those krauts into sausage. The hell is hitting me? From where? Goddamn damage indicators are terrible. Makes me think I'm running over mines or something. I think I see another one. Yeah, I do. You punk bitch. I'm gonna peek a boom attack. Can't go that way. What the shit? It's a perfectly clear path, yet I can't go there. It's not the predetermined path the developers wanted you to take. Circle him! Go! To the left, Bohatel! The left! Oh shit, Sherlock. Why don't I just shoot them where the armor is thinnest? Freaking ass. Please. Oh, there goes that turret. No more King Tiger. 70 ton monster.
It's him? Look at the tank! It's Richter's number! This is the one! The Shvinia who drove us from the motherland. <coughs> Papa, I thought you'd be happier. Who says I'm not? They'll give you a promotion for this. Don't give us all promotion for this. <laughs> <laughs>